You've all heard about the videos from the likes of Mr. Who's the Boss, who show similar smartphones from a small category, maybe the sub £100 mark, and the secondary cameras, which are a great feature to boast about on their website, don't actually do anything. They're like potatoes. They don't actually work. You can cover them up and it won't change anything about portrait mode or optical zoom, which is something that, again, is fake and it's just false advertising. But I bet you didn't know that Apple does this with their iPhone and Samsung does this with their S9 Plus. And before everyone goes around killing me, I have proof in this video. Hey guys, my name is Ryan Thompson with Failtech and these are the flagships that have fake dual cameras some of the time. Yes, the S9 Plus and iPhone 10 will scan the sensor for what I'm guessing is optimum lighting conditions and then switch to the primary sensor or the secondary sensor depending on this. And it makes a lot of sense because the secondary sensors and the secondary camera setups in a lot of dual camera phones have slower glass. If they were to put faster glass in there like f1.4 or f1.5, then it would be a huge chunk of glass on the camera and the phone would be a lot fatter than it already is. So it's understandable that they have to keep these at like f2.4 and f2.8. However, a lot of this is down to the fact that they don't have optical image stabilization but the iPhone 10 does, so it kind of alleviates that. So as you can see here, I kind of move around and aim the camera in different positions. I've got the two times zoom mode on. It will switch between the covered lens being the telephoto and the primary lens being an uncovered primary lens. This would make a lot of sense if, again, this didn't have optical image stabilization because lower light, I believe, is where the true difference is. But from what I can tell, it kind of does this erratically and there isn't a pattern to when it uses the primary or secondary sensor. Now, my good friend Ewan actually taught me about this when he got his S9 Plus, And for some reason, it does exactly the same thing on iPhone. It's just weird. Now, again, this isn't completely false and this isn't completely fake because it does use the secondary sensor sometimes. But from what I can tell, there's pretty much no difference in clarity between the first going in two times digitally and the second zooming in two times optically. It's almost like a huge marketing gimmick that a lot of smartphone brands put on their website so that they make you spend more money on phones. Yes, it's random and erratic. And to be honest, it's very annoying considering you pay so much for a flagship phone, but it does make a lot of sense due to, again, the lighting conditions. So it'd be really cool if every phone did it like the Pixel where there was just a single lens. You weren't really talked into any kind of magic trick with the secondary lens. It was all in AI. And again, considering the Pixel 2 XL has one camera, it has like the best portrait mode. It's crazy. So yeah, this is a little bonus video, short little video, but I did want to mention it because it's something that not a lot of people know about. And say if you're looking to buy an iPhone 10 or a Galaxy S9 Plus and you want to know about these things, this could be a deal breaker to you. To me, I don't really care much because I use the primary lens pretty much all the time, but it's something that a lot of you who are looking to use the telephoto lens will want to know about. And that's been it from me, guys. My name's been Ryan Thomas for Failtech. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're new around here to know a video like this one. Also, check out my social media in the description and on screen right now because it really does help me out and we can start a conversation over there as well. Also, really special thanks to my patrons. You guys are incredible for your amazing continued support. My name's been Ryan Thomas for Failtech and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.